artificial intelligence study of human genome finds unknown human ancestor. As amazing and wonderful as the human brain is, sometimes there are things that it simply cannot tell us about ourselves without a little extra help. One of the things that scientists rely on artificial intelligence for is extensive analysis of both human and animal genomes to determine relationships and attempt to track the pattern of evolution through the millennia. Recently, one of these artificial intelligence studies discovered the presence of a strange ghost population that predated the human species that we are today. The analysis, which was performed by artificial intelligence using machine learning technology, looked at eight of the current leading models of theorized human evolution and discovered traces of an unknown human ancestor that likely interbred with the Homo sapiens of Asia and Oceania. This mysterious population of ancestors was hidden until now because the only thing remaining to hint at its presence are small, virtually indistinguishable fragments of DNA that remain interspersed within modern human DNA. And it was not until machine learning pointed it out to us. This unidentified ghost population appears to be a descendant of interbreeding between the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. Remarkably, the 90,000-year-old fossilized remains of a girl appearing to be the only example of the result of a first-generation mixing between a Neanderthal and a Denisovan was discovered recently, leading scientists to wonder whether she was a forerunner to this newly identified ghost population. The Denisovans themselves were only discovered and catalogued as a species a decade ago, making these subsequent discoveries missing pieces to a very recent puzzle. Scientists have long understood that the early humanoid species interbred with other species as they spread across the globe and encountered each other. Over time, these species gave rise to new species, and then went extinct as the modern Homo sapiens evolved. However, identifying the smaller populations that arose from that interbreeding, such as the unions between the Neanderthals and Denisovans, has proved exceedingly difficult. This recent artificial intelligence discovery pointing to a distinct ancestor of both Neanderthal and Denisovan origins has allowed scientists to begin to understand how introgressions between ancient species caused diversions in the human genome that allowed the painstaking evolution into the first modern-day Homo sapiens to occur. Artificial intelligence was able to make this discovery because of its ability to identify locations of high divergence in the human genome to indicate locations of potential introgressions between species and further compare the genetic material at these locations, a task that would be almost impossibly painstaking otherwise. This is only the latest in a series of examples demonstrating the usefulness of artificial intelligence in genetic research because of the ability to utilize machine learning to accurately analyze and compare millions upon millions of pieces of ancient DNA with the DNA of modern humans, identifying patterns and connections that otherwise would have gone unnoticed. This has allowed scientists to begin the process of resolving some of the questions that have previously been left unanswered in order to piece together our ancient origins. Elon Musk says scientists only have a 5-10% to chance of being able to make AI safe. Although many people have put a lot of hope in the future of artificial intelligence and in the possibilities that can emerge from a world run with the help of cognizant machines, one tech mogul is not so hopeful. Elon Musk is highly involved in the creation of artificial intelligence as well as research into the development of, of brain-computer interface technology that would allow humans to essentially merge with machines. His company, OpenAI, has even created an artificial intelligence system capable of self-teaching. Yet, despite his heavy involvement in the field, Musk remains apprehensive about a future run by machines and estimates that the ongoing efforts to make artificial intelligence safe for humans only has a 5-10% to chance of success. This dire prediction means that AI will almost certainly pose an immense risk to humankind, and Musk is not the only one to recognize and voice these concerns. Stephen Hawking repeatedly claimed that he was certain that artificial intelligence systems are distinctly dangerous and could potentially replace humans altogether. Yet the realm of artificial intelligence development moves resolutely forward, and with it the capabilities of non-humans. AI systems have been developed that create languages, express curiosity, 
diagnose illnesses, identify different or unusual behaviors, perform military simulations, and even systems that are capable of creating other AI systems. It would seem that, with only a small amount of further development, the machines would not need us anymore. However, Musk is less concerned with a robot uprising reminiscent of a scene from a movie and more concerned with the potential barriers and possibilities that he sees in a future run by artificial intelligence. Firstly, he is wary of the potential for a system to be created that is not only smarter than humans, but also has the capacity for independent learning with no limits. Even though algorithms can be programmed or trained to recognize good and bad actions, they lack the emotional aspect of human feelings. When this unlimited knowledge is combined with the fact that AI machines lack emotions, remorse, or an inherent moral code, the possibilities for what an artificial system is capable of is alarming. Musk is also concerned about the likelihood that this enormous power would be controlled by just a few companies with the funds to develop the technology and there is currently no oversight or regulations that would check the almost limitless power of whoever controlled the realm of artificial intelligence. It remains to be seen whether Musk's predictions will come to fruition, but in the meantime, researchers are carefully navigating this never-before-entered realm of non-human intelligence. Lunar Rover Discovers Mysterious Glass Spheres China's U-22 rover has been the force behind several recent discoveries regarding the dark side of the moon, and its latest find is especially intriguing. The mission, which was the first successful landing on the far side of the moon, has been to uncover hidden secrets kept by the far side of the moon by looking in depth at panoramic images captured by the rover, which was deposited in the moon's massive von Karman crater. One of these images, which proved especially interesting to researchers after they noticed two small intact spheres made of what appeared to be translucent glass. The knowledge that glass spheres were discovered on the moon might alone be surprising information to some. The fact is that glass is not altogether uncommon on the lunar surface. The ingredients needed to create glass are rather simple, just silicate and high temperatures, and the moon has had a large amount of both throughout its lifetime. We know that the moon was the site of extensive volcanism in the past, as well as the location of intense heat generated by meteorites and other foreign bodies. Silicate, which is found all over the lunar surface, was subject to this volcanic activity and high temperatures, resulting in the large amount of glass pieces that can be found across the surface. So, if glass is not rare on the moon, why are these spheres of such interest to the researchers studying U22's images. The answer lies in what the glass can tell us about the history of the moon and the chemical reactions that have occurred. There is a chance that the volcanic activity that led to the other glass remnants also created these spheres. They do appear to be slightly different from other specimens that have been found. Of the previous specimens, any spheres that were discovered were almost microscopic and none measured over a millimeter compared to U22 spheres, which measure between 15 and 25 millimeters in diameter. They also range from transparent to semi-transparent with an interesting vitreous luster. But how did these strange orbs end up on the moon? One theory claims that the spheres are impact spheres which are created even here on Earth when something hits the surface so forcefully that it generates enough heat to melt the crust. The melted pieces are projected into the air by the impact and cool into tiny glass beads. These beads are usually incredibly small, which likely rules impact out as a direct source of U22's glass spheres. The team studying the images and U22's analysis of their composition believe that they are likely created from a type of volcanic glass called anorthosite, which might have remelted due to the heat of an enormous impact and then cooled into the balls that the rover discovered. The team responsible for the research wrote, as the first discovery of macroscopic and translucent glass globules on the moon, this study predicts that such globules should be abundant across the lunar highland, providing promising sampling targets to reveal the early impact history of the moon. As research continues, 
Hopefully, we will begin to be able to peel back the layers of the moon's history and discover more about its formation and life through the millennia. Zach Bagans is a well-known paranormal investigator and the host of the popular television show Ghost Adventures. In 2018, Zach purchased the infamous Devil's Rocking Chair, a haunted artifact that is said to be cursed and responsible for causing harm and even death to those who come into contact with it. The chair originally belonged to the late Ed and Lorraine Warren, famous paranormal investigators and demonologists who investigated some of the most famous hauntings in history. The chair is said to have been used during an exorcism conducted by the Warrens and is believed to be possessed by a powerful demonic entity. After acquiring the chair, Zack placed it on display in his haunted museum in Las Vegas, where it quickly became one of the most popular exhibits. However, in late 2019, Zack announced that he was closing the exhibit and removing the chair from public view. The reason for this decision was reportedly due to the negative effects that the chair was having on visitors and museum staff. People who came into contact with the chair reported feeling nauseous, dizzy, and even physically ill. Some visitors claimed to have had terrifying nightmares after being in the same room as the chair, while others experienced unexplained injuries. In addition, Zack and his team reportedly experienced strange occurrences in the museum, including unexplained power outages and equipment malfunctions, which they believed were directly related to the presence of the Devil's Rocking Chair. As a result, Zack made the decision to close the exhibit and remove the chair from public view, stating that he did not want to risk further harm to himself, his team, or museum visitors. The chair remains in Zack's possession, but it is kept in a secure location and is not accessible to the public. The story of the Devil's Rocking Chair and its alleged curse is a fascinating and chilling example of the power that some haunted objects can hold. While skeptics may dismiss the chair's purported effects as mere coincidence or suggestible thinking, the fact remains that numerous people have reported negative experiences after coming into contact with it. As such, the Devil's Rocking Chair remains a cautionary tale for those who seek to delve into the world of the paranormal and supernatural. Zack reported that one of the most haunted places that he investigated was that of the Goatman's Bridge. Goatman's Bridge, also known as Old Alton Bridge, is a historic iron truss bridge located in Denton County, Texas. It was built in 1884 to connect the cities of Denton and Copper Canyon. The bridge has gained notoriety in recent years due to reports of paranormal activity and legends of a mysterious figure known as the Goatman. The legend of Goatman's Bridge dates back to the early 20th century. According to the legend, people have reported strange occurrences around the bridge, including sightings of a shadowy figure with glowing eyes, disembodied voices, and ghostly apparitions. Paranormal shadow people are a phenomenon that has been reported by many people over the years. These beings are described as dark, shadowy figures that seem to move in and out of people's peripheral vision. They are usually seen in places where there is little or no light, and they often have no discernible features or details. While the existence of shadow people is up for debate, many people believe that they are a real phenomenon, with some paranormal researchers believing that shadow people are the result of the human mind trying to make sense of something that is beyond its ability to comprehend. One theory is that shadow people are a type of ghost or spirit that is trapped in our world. They may be the result of someone who has passed away and is unable to move on to the afterlife. Others believe that shadow people are beings from another dimension or universe that are able to cross over into our world. Some people who have encountered shadow people report feeling a sense of dread or fear in their presence. Others report feeling a sense of curiosity or intrigue. There are many theories about the nature of shadow people and what they might represent. Some people believe that they are a sign of impending doom or a harbinger of bad luck, while others believe that they are a manifestation of our subconscious fears and anxieties. Despite the lack of scientific evidence, the phenomenon of shadow people continues to be a popular topic of discussion among paranormal enthusiasts. Many people report seeing these mysterious figures and have shared their stories online and in various paranormal communities. While the existence of shadow people remains a mystery, their popularity in the paranormal world 
is unlikely to wane anytime soon. Whether they are the result of the human mind trying to make sense of the unexplainable or a real phenomenon that we have yet to fully understand, shadow people continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. Visitors have reported hearing strange noises, feeling an inexplicable sense of dread, and some have even reported being touched by unseen hands. Some have speculated that these occurrences are connected to the tragic history of the bridge. In recent years, the bridge has become a popular destination for paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers. Many people have tried to capture evidence of the paranormal activity, and some have even claimed to have experienced it themselves. Some paranormal investigators have captured electronic voice phenomena recordings, which are believed to be the voices of spirits, as well as photographs and videos of ghostly apparitions. However, the bridge's popularity has also brought unwanted attention. The haunting of Goatman's Bridge has captured the imaginations of many people for over a century. While some dismiss it as a legend or a hoax, others have reported experiencing strange and unexplainable occurrences at the site. Regardless of its authenticity, the legend of Goatman's Bridge has become an important part of the local folklore and a popular destination for those seeking to experience the supernatural. Many paranormal researchers have said that the Goatman's Bridge, along with various other sites across the United States, show signs of residual hauntings. Residual haunting is a type of paranormal activity that is said to occur when the energy or emotions of past events are imprinted on a location, creating a recording that can be played back and observed by witnesses. This phenomenon is often associated with traumatic or emotionally charged events. Residual hauntings are believed to be different from other types of paranormal activity, such as intelligent hauntings, in that the energy or imprint is not a conscious or intelligent presence. Instead, it is more like a playback of a past event, similar to a tape recording or a movie. There are several theories about how residual hauntings occur. Some suggest that intense emotional energy is released during traumatic events, which can somehow imprint itself on the surrounding environment. Others believe that the energy of a person's thoughts or emotions can imprint itself on the environment, particularly if those thoughts or emotions are intense or repeated over a long period of time. One of the most famous examples of residual haunting is the Battlefield Ghosts at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Many visitors to the battlefield report seeing ghostly soldiers marching across the field or hearing the sounds of battle echoing through the woods. Other examples of residual hauntings include ghostly apparitions of people going about their daily business in old buildings or the sound of footsteps or other noises that repeat themselves over and over again. So, what do you make of these mysterious locations? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.